Hello darlings, I hope all is well, I hope you're doing okay. So, I thought I'd do a video on like how to love someone with BPD, but also how to have a healthy relationship whilst living with BPD. Um, it is possible, uh, people like to think it isn't because people hate people with BPD for some reason, but it's possible. I'm in currently my first relationship, which is a very loving one and we're both very happy. So first of all I just want to say not everyone I think should date someone with BPD. Okay so for example if you're a sociopath and you want to date someone with BPD it's quite commonly known that people with BPD will go for sociopaths. I personally don't think that's going to work out because people with it's like two ends of the spectrum. People with BPD have too much emotion to a lot of emotion. People with sociopathy have not enough. Doesn't balance out. Who has a mental illness if you have one yourself? But it can make a relationship that much more complicated, especially if your illnesses work against one another. For instance, let's say your partner has autism spectrum disorder or ASD and you have BPD or are a highly sensitive person. That's going to be tricky and very, very tough at times. As ASD, they may not read all of the social cues that a highly sensitive person or someone with BPD would pick up on or even dish out to them hoping that they would understand. So long story short, there could be a lot of mixed messages and missed nonverbal communications, which in turn can lead to a lot of fights. I think if you, you have depression, anxiety or like symptoms of BPD, you're going to be more accepting and understanding of the fact that BPD is real and very painful and hard to live with. So I think in order to love someone with BPD, you have to have a lot of compassion and know where they're coming from and understand that mental illness is real and painful. So I feel like I'm chatting shit. So things to keep in mind if you're dating someone with BPD or with mental illness, I guess. They're going to be tired, kind of constantly. We're gonna wanna stay in bed all day, but you can't really let us. Like, you might not wanna eat, make them some food. Like, if they're in a mood where they might not wanna laugh and be silly and stuff, try and make them laugh anyway. We're gonna want to cry over the smallest things. Don't make it seem like it's not a big deal or they're just being dramatic because for us, for them, the pain is very real, even if we're crying over we lost a pen. It's kind of an extreme example, but we're crying about the fact we lost a special pen. To us, that pain is very real. <laughs> and it seems very silly, but calling it dramatic isn't helpful. So we might overreact in situations, so instead of being like, we're overreacting, just help them to understand, you know? I've often referred to those with BPD as emotional burn victims because they feel everything in life very intensely and are sensitive to any shifts or perceived wrongs. We are going to need a lot more reassurance than people without BPD because BPD is in the amygdala gland which affects your emotions and memory. So you can imagine why we'll need lots of reassurance. Occasionally we are going to have like bad episodes so we might need you to help us through that. We aren't doubting you or questioning your love, but like mental illnesses are difficult and hard. It's not us doing it, it's like the disorder. I just say reassure us, love us, and never give up. Like, just be aware, you know? If you date someone with BPD, you're guaranteed vibe checks for the rest of your life. Like, our emotions um, come and go very quickly, so it's gonna be a lot of like, are you okay? How are you? And I think before you date someone with BPD, understand that they might get triggered easily. Don't enter our lives if you can't handle it. I'm not saying we're all like explosive and like difficult to deal with, but um, there are going to be breakdowns. We are going to be crying sometimes. I cry quite a bit. I just think dating someone who understands mental health is so important. You can't date someone who doesn't quite get it. There's people that will make you feel terrible for things you can't control or don't know how to control yet. I don't know if you've seen those memes that's like, yeah, he's cute, but is he good for your mental health? 
So you need someone who's caring, who will stick by you. When people say all people with DPD are cheaters and will manipulate you into staying, that couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah, and I'm sick of the notion that people with mental illnesses can't have a loving and fulfilling relationship. So yeah, mentally ill people can fall in love. Mentally ill people can have very happy and healthy relationships and mentally ill people can have long-term relationships. So I thought I'd talk about some signs of a healthy relationship. So one, you both feel supported. Two, you're aware of your own triggers and the other person's triggers. Three, you laugh together. You keep that energy light and fun. Uh, four, you feel heard and your voices, your concerns are taken seriously. So this kind of goes for both neurotypicals, people without BPD and people with BPD. Just fall in love with someone who like wants you uh, and waits for you, not someone who treats you like you're an annoyance or belittles you or anything. Fall for someone who helps you and guides you and don't fall in love with the potential of a person. Just communicate, build trust, be honest, make time for one another leave the past in the past. This is a note to anyone dating someone with BPD so, or even bipolar. So people with BPD or bipolar disorder have to 24-7 work on caution cautiously regulating their emotions uh, and it's very tiring. So sometimes we don't do the best job and our decisions are impaired um, but please like, be understanding. Um, don't just pick and choose what mental illnesses you want to tolerate. This illness has a lot of stigma and don't read stuff online because it's literally all bullshit. Oh, the triggers me. I'm gonna say it a thousand times in this video, but just yeah, reassurance. Just fucking reassure us that you like us and you love us quite often. Sometimes we will think you're angry with us for no reason because a lot of people with BPD misinterpret neutrality with anger. Um, so we'll be paranoid thinking like, oh they hate me, Do they? am I annoying them too much? Our minds have sneaky sneaky ways of making us believe that everyone hates us, it's like kind of like a paranoia thing. Don't get annoyed that we think that you hate us, <laughs> because it's not really us saying that, it's like the paranoia. Like, I used to always think the people I'd hang around with me secretly hated me. And that's not on them. <laughs> that's not on. That's not me trying to dig at them. That's literally paranoia, like at its finest. That is. This noggin ain't working right. It's not our fault. It's the disorder. So don't get upset at us if we're like, do you hate me? It may seem really petty and stupid, but like that reassurance can mean the world to us. <laughs> um, so don't get, try not to get annoyed at us when we ask annoying things like that because we really don't mean to be annoying <laughs> we just can be sometimes i think so yeah i think some people i think some people with bpd push away their loved ones but again that's more of like a self-harming kind of behavior i think we do it when we're scared um and a lot of people with bpd as well as having a fear of abandonment they have a fear of intimacy so i think that's why like sometimes hugs can feel too claustrophobic for people with BPD. Just hug us, <laughs> despite if we're getting a bit claustrophobic and stuff, because hugs are good. People with BPD will love you very deeply because we experience emotions on a slightly deeper level than most people, so expect lots of love from us. And if you are dating someone with BPD who doesn't give you much love, like when I see people, um, especially men online, talking about how much they hate a woman they dated with BPD. Girl, boy, if you don't, there's so many women and men with BPD and it's this fucking spectrum. We are all so different. There's obviously going to be nasty people with BPD the same way there's going to be lovely people with BPD. There's so many different kinds of people with BPD and there's so many different ways our symptoms can be trade so just find if you've had a bad experience with someone with BPD don't generalize us and say that we're all bad because everyone's a different person we're all people 
so that's that i hope this has helped someone kind of trash it the whole time thank you for watching um i did a video a dbt video on how to basically have healthy relationships um and that's advice from 